Hi right, folks, I got my camera up and running. Uh, it's coming to you from Mysterious Universe. Uh, mushroom clouds were spotted over Mars uh, by India's orbiter, March 8, 2015, by Paul uh, Seaburn. Uh, this report's coming also out of NASA. Scientists say that Mars... Uh, this is the one about the uh, uh, Mars possibly having an ocean and everything and how uh, they were observing the ocean area when they noticed this mushroom cloud. And even though nobody wants at NASA, obviously, to say nuclear bomb going off, especially on Mars where there's supposedly no civilization whatsoever. Uh, here's a question here. Is it a nuclear cloud? Dr. John Brandenburg writes in his book, Death on Mars, Discovery of Planetary Nuclear Massacre, where there is a giant history of high concentration of xenon-129 in the Martian atmosphere, uranium and thorium. On the surface are remnants of nuclear explosions by supposed alien invaders. Again, you can, you can believe what you want, but... Here's one going off, folks, or at least something very close to it. And stuff like this doesn't generally happen. Here's the, let me zoom in. Here's the stem of the explosion. Here's the crater ruins. That looks like a good quarter mile across. And here's the mushroom cloud shadow. Okay, now when compared to this nuclear explosion, methane blast, comet crash, a warning for Mars One settlers, something else, you never know with mushroom clouds, supposedly. Uh, but their cover story is another explanation might be comet sighting spring, which passed close to Mars on... October 19, 2015. Ah, they messed up. They said October 19, 2015. That's funny. So 2014. Uh, NASA cut off the live video feed of the comet before it passed. What a surprise. But an amateur astronomer, Dr. Fritz Helmut uh, Hemmerich, made a video from the Canary Islands as it passed showing an explosion. But, again, that's their cover story, folks. Uh, another thing, and this was by um, the Mars Orbiter Mission, or MOM. Uh, and according to this page here, folks, it said that Curiosity had been affected slightly by EMPs. During the time when they were viewing this, they were having all kinds of issues where they had to shut it down and reboot. So, I'm not saying it's a nuke, folks, on Mars, but if Curiosity was having problems when this thing was going off near it, what else throws off EMPs but nukes, folks? What indeed...